hello and welcome to today's video and today's video we are looking at street lights again and we're starting in Coventry this time at the other end of the M69 because we have some old low pressure sodium street lights probably 135 watts not all of them are working and I'm not too sure how long they're going to be on for but they are starting to come on now and we should see them in a minute and what I'm going to do I'm going to go down this road do a u-turn at a roundabout and then head back to Leicester and then when we get to Leicester I'm going to see how they're doing with the LED lights on the motorway so bear with us a minute and I'll see you in a minute I will pause now and I'll unpause when we get back to these street lights Okay, we're currently heading towards Leicester on the A46 and as we go over the M6 this road becomes the M69 and we're currently in Warwickshire and we're coming up to the low pressure sodium street lights soon and a rather large LED sign is now that it is 17 minutes to Leicester, 16 miles. Now the low pressure sodium street lights have had a little chance to come on so some of them now are starting to get bright. However, very few of them work. In fact, I'd say more don't. There are also some high pressure sodium street lights down here as well. Still a lot to come on, they're only just starting to light up. we're going over and now we are officially on the M69 and we'll run down these lights and then when I get to the end of these street lights I will pause again and then as we approach the end of the M69 we'll I'll continue the video as we drive down the road we originally did I do like these old low pressure sodium street lights I believe they're made by Philips and they are the biggest ones they did. I don't know how much longer these lights will be here. I don't know when they finished the road in Leicester, the M1 and the other end of this M69, whether they're going to then replace these. Here we go, the services are coming up in 17 miles which will pass and this is the last of the street lights the sodium low pressure sodium street lights so I'll speak to you again when we get to Leicester okay we are approaching the end of the M69 the three lane road is about to drop to a two lane road 
going to go around the corner and then the street lights will start. changed the signs lighting as well to LED from fluorescent as well. Quite a lot of these lights and signs used to be lit with PL lamps and I have actually got a PL, PL fluorescent lamp to show in a later video. But as you can see they're nearly all LED now. officially on the M1 and there are roadworks again so there is work continuing with the street lighting. A number of the lights in the centre have been taken down probably due to I don't know rust or damage so they've been working on the basis and at some point they'll replace the ones that are missing as you can still see it is quite still very light in the UK we've just passed the longest day and I think sunset was around 9.45 tonight all the street lights now are on I haven't noticed one that's not working yet So this is in the last video this is where the LED street lights actually started. So two lanes are coned off. So there's definitely work going on in the centre of the M1 somewhere down here. I don't know if they've started yet but they do normally work in the evenings when this road is quieter. that is missing is coming on. I'll try and point it out but I don't know if you'll see on the video but you might be able to make out the gap. Still no sign of any workmen. There are four low pressure so no sorry high pressure sodium street lights still down here and the reason why I believe they've not been changed is because they're replacing the street lights with new ones on the opposite side we have some flashing lights down here and this is the gap of the missing street light and this is where the workmen are so they're obviously getting ready to replace the missing street light There's another one down here that's not working and here are the four high pressure sodium street lights that are still here and on the other side are some posts with no lamps on it's an interesting vehicle and there's some street lighting down here that's still not working as well Two of them haven't got lamps fitted. And then we're 
going to go under the motorway and these are the iffy, iffy fluorescent lights. Some work, some don't. Some are pink, some are bright. This is junction 21A of the M1. You can only exit this road northbound and enter southbound. Street light down here that was cycling in the last video is still cycling on and off. Oops. In fact, there's another one on the other side of the roundabout that's not working as well. So these LED lights are terrible. So I'd like to say thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video of an update of the low pressure sodium, high pressure sodium replacement to LED. Most streetlights now that work in Leicestershire are LED however there are still a few left but they are disappearing rapidly now as we come over the bridge you might be able to make up make out sorry the low pressure sodium one or the high pressure sodium one to the right and that's about it really so I'd like to say thanks very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this update. Goodbye.